when we try to define assets and bases, there are three different definitions that have developed over time. The Arrhenius definition, which is the first one listed here, um, defines an acid as a proton or a hydrogen ion producer. which means that when um, this sort of a substance is put into water, protons will be produced. Uh, that would define it as an acid according to the Arrhenius definition. If you had a substance that you put in water and it produced hydroxide ions, then we would say that it's an Arrhenius base. Bronsted and Lowry took that definition and changed it slightly they would say that a, an acid is still a hydrogen ion or a proton producer, but that a base is a proton acceptor. The Lewis definition, which is the third one here, talked more about electron pairs. And the Lewis definition of an acid switches things up a little bit because it's electron pairs and would say, that an acid is an electron pair acceptor, while a Lewis base would be an electron pair donator or a producer. In general, acids are going to be sour. As we know, anytime you've tasted a um, lemon or you've had some vinegar, you know that vinegar has a, a, is really acetic acid. Um, bases are generally going to taste bitter. We don't generally eat a lot of bases in our um, everyday life, although something like Pepto-Bismol or milk of magnesia is something that you use to settle the acid in your stomach, um, and it is able to do that because it's a base. Problem number two asks us to identify some specific parts of this acid-base um, reaction. So we're looking at um, this specific kind of an acid. This is called hydrocyanic acid. So if we're going to label the acid, this is acting as our acid. The water in this case is acting as a base. Water is one of those things that could be either an acid or a base. Go back to our definitions from before. Um, this hydrocyanic acid is going to um, donate the proton, um, so that's why it's acting like an acid, and water is going to accept the proton, which means it's acting as a base. Now we can look at some conjugate acid-base pairs right here. The thing that, um, after it has donated its proton, is our conjugate base. So in this case, that would be hydrocyanic acid. The H3O plus that has accepted a proton is the conjugate acid. If this reaction were to go in reverse, go back in this direction, sorry for the crazy arrow, if this, this the H3O plus could donate a proton, so it's acting like an acid. In that case, HCN minus would accept a proton, so it's acting like a base. Um, I'm going to skip over the naming because I think you can do a lot of that on your own. Look that up in the textbook. But um, question number four, I ask you to draw a pH scale labeling the following. Um, this is a different one from in your textbook, but I liked it because it gave you these um, nice pictures here um, down the left-hand side of what's actually happening in our acids and, and um, our basic solution. So we know that our pH scale generally goes from 0 to 14. Um, with our cutoff here as um, the neutral solution would be 7, uh, which at a pH of 7, we have the hydrogen ion concentration being equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. So if um, we were to label anything here, we could look at this top part from 0 to 7, and we would say this is part E as described in your study guide, and this part right here is part F. Okay, so we have our acids and we have our bases. Acid alphabetically goes from, would come first, so it's zero to seven. Bases come second alphabetically, so they're the second half of the pH scale. A low hydrogen ion concentration, if you look very carefully on here, um, this 
uh, little gray thing is the hydrogen ion concentration. So you see that there are not very many of them down here, so low hydrogen ion concentration is going to be down this way. High hydrogen concentration is going to be up here, so this would be part B. Uh, low hydroxide concentration is going to be where you have acids, and you have very few of them with these, so only two of the red dots up here, so that would be part C. And high hydroxide concentration, you have many more of them down here, that would be part D is down here. 